This looks like Eric Idle from Monty Python. Let's take a look here. There once was a girl at the age of three Told her mum this is how I want to be Her mum said no you're a boy You know it's how it's meant to be Soon may transition come To bring me blockers and hormones mum Why won't you listen to me I want to be happy Okay so this is indistinguishable from Eric Idle In Monty Python I don't know if this is serious or not. Okay, let's 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 keep going. The girl grew up and her voice grew deep. Her mum saw her unhappiness creep. Her mum said, I know you're a girl, I'll support you all the way. Soon may transition come to bring me blockers and hormones, mum. At last I am the real me, and now I am happy. And now I am happy. I think it's real, and this person should not be allowed around any children. This is some messed up shit, and I do think we should consider burning everything to the ground and salting the ashes. <laughs> if this is truly what Western civilization turns into fully, uh, yeah, we might as well at that point. Newly appointed UN, Jesus, UN Women UK delegate, Martin Katie Neves, tasked with representing women on the UN Commission of the Status of Women. My good God. It is, it's Monty Python become real. Cousin hormones, mum. Why won't you listen to me? I want to be happy. The girl grew up and her voice grew deep. Oh, dear. So, UN, the UN. Do we need the UN? I kind of feel like we don't need it. If this is what it's about, I kind of feel like we don't. None of, not, none of, nothing what that happens with the UN seems to make any sense anyway. They, they put like a couple of years ago, they put Saudi Arabia on like the Women's Rights Council. How does that make any sense? I, I think we can just do without the UN from now on. It's clearly not serious or sane in any way, right? <laughs> if this is the sort of thing that it's responsible for. <laughs> oh my God, it's in my head now. There once was a troon who posted cringe with male baldness and a lady's fringe. He tapped the rhythm of his musical whinge with a great big blokey hands. <laughs> <clears throat> you really come across some treasures on the internet in these comment sections. I think that's it. I mean, I don't, what do you even say? I mean, I get if this is the future... Then we might as well just we might as well just burn it to the ground and salt the ashes, because uh, yeah, I don't think future generations are, if it, things keep going in this direction, future generations are not going to uh, look back fondly on us at all. They're going to curse us. Why did you do this to us? You had such a good thing going, you know, and then all of a sudden we decided to say, actually, let's make everything about identity and race. And let's get rid of merit. You know, the thing that would actually create the, the the beautiful utopian technological future that uh, that we that we've dreamed about in science fiction. Let's get rid of the thing that create. That, let's get rid of the thing that's created like modern medicine, right? Like the scientific method. Not counting the uh, jabs, by the way. <laughs> Not counting that. But let's face it, we've got better medicine than caveman had, right? <clears throat> let's get rid of the thing that's created all of the wonders that we that we enjoy all of the comforts that we enjoy, right? Let's get rid of the thing that's created all of that. And let's let's start let's decide that like every kid is born in the wrong body or something. Let's do stuff like that and like say that we don't need police anymore. You know, let's all just be terrorized by <laughs> violent criminals. Let's do that. Let's become communists so that nothing will ever be innovated ever again. Let's go backwards. You know, at some point at some point, I guess we decided that that's what we want. We want to just tear everything to the ground. We might, let's all go live in caves again. 